chongers or chongsters. I don't know, I feel like, is it too soon to come up with a collective noun for everyone that's watching this? Regardless, I felt like today I was going to run you through my exercise routine because even though I don't look like it, sometimes I work out. And definitely when I lived in New York, I always came to see Mary Helen Bowers, owner of Ballet Beautiful, and she made sure that I looked elegant and poised. So we're going to go on a journey together. However, first we've got to get there. Follow me. Ballet Beautiful is on the fifth floor of a five floor walk up, which I like to think is actually half the exercise. This is, by the way, not what I always enjoyed doing on a hangover. Still not there. Thighs are burning. Yes! The stairs! <laughs> Hello! How are you? Welcome back. Good to see you. Oh my god. Coming on in. Look at the way you even just stand. It's normally. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Let's go. Okay, so Mary Helen, one of the things that first attracted me to coming here and doing ballet with you was um, how beautiful you look in ballet gear and the fact that when I was like five years old I wanted to be a ballerina. So I think ballet outfits are actually very important for me. That's like 50% of what I like about this exercise. Minimum. I'm so sorry. 50. Yeah, 50%. So can you help me pick a look for today's class? Yes. So what are you thinking? Do you want to go with the traditional Alexa look? What's that? To me, that's the camisole. Okay. I yes. don't know, do you have your cutoff shorts here? We need, the, <laughs> we, need the, we, need the, we need the ribbon, the shoes slung around the neck, I right? Like there's the been, bare legs. There's been various incarnations of uh, my ballet look and also because I used to walk here and then walk out of the class, I used to put your ballet slippers yes. around my neck so that I could show dudes on the street that I was in fact a ballerina. So if you've ever actually seen a picture of me, and this is very vain, but if you've ever actually seen a picture of me walking around Manhattan, I think you'll find that I'm wearing ballet slippers it's like this. It's pretty chic. And a flat white, and I'm purely <laughs> trying to pick up babes. I'm literally like, oh, just with the With the cutoffs. Just came from ballet class. And the cami. Oh yeah, just what this, my exercise gear. Because I can. It lift my leg high, except I can't. It's all a fallacy. This is the sportier style. So we have sort of classic ballerina silhouettes. Yeah. The camisole, this one looks great on you. This, th this is the pinch front. It has the princess seams, the classic seams that run down the bust. Yeah. This has the low back. Stunning. So, you know, you can, you can add a bra if you want to. Most dancers don't. Um, it's usually pretty bare. Well, Some this of them is have the other shelf. thing. You, see, you wear your tights over your leotard. Over. This is the sign of the of a professional versus when you're a child or in like a, the ballet academy, you have to wear, even on stage, you have to wear your tights under, underneath your tutu, underneath your leotard, and then you would wear a belt mm -hmm. or a skirt or, you know, your costume on top. But why do you wear them over? Because this is just how you do it when you're rehearsing. Not sure why but that's how it's done. Okay, well I want to look like you. Yeah, so this, this we can achieve. And this is the classic ballet tight, right? So the seam runs as we sew from the, the toe all the way up to the waist, so it goes yeah. all the way up. But mainly I want your bump, so it's just all confusing. That we can do too. Well, there's so many different things to choose from. I feel like there can be a montage moment here. I'm in my outfit. I obviously copied You look so yours. cute. This is the look. Twin. Can you help me put my shoes on? Because often when I post from your classes, I get a lot of cross ballerinas on my Instagram telling me I don't There's get There's some very grumpy people in the ballet world online. Here's the way I see the shoes. You can have your proper, like you're going on stage, you're going to the Royal Academy for an exam way of tying your ribbons. I'm no. going to teach you how to do it. And then there's the have fun, it's about fashion, it's just a workout, let's yeah. all relax way, which you obviously are the prep. But let's start by, you want this is an elasticized drawstring, right, which is nice. So you can just tighten it to the place that feels good. Yeah. If you're going on stage, you would basically knot it, cut it, and tuck 
the ties inside. If you want to leave this. I feel like I'm not in danger of going on stage anytime <laughs> soon. So this to me is more of the typical Alexa way, but what you just did is good. However, it is quite, it's a little bulky, so if it bothers you, don't hesitate to knot it, like I said, and cut it off. Okay. That looks great. And then okay, this. the ribbon. This is the real test. This is how I like to Number do one, it. you have to start, the starting is wrong because you need to be, you have to flex your foot so that your ankle is at its like sort of thickest. Okay. Um, because you've got to have a little bit of give in the ribbon. You don't want to go all the way tight. And is then this what flex, flexing is? Correct. Okay. Okay, so you want to flex. Now you don't, okay, no, you, should, well, you do this one, I'll do this one. Go ahead. Very cute. I love it, and it's gonna finish with a floppy bow. So chic, so beautiful. All right, so for this, if we were doing the onstage look, start with the interior ribbon, come around the ankle. This is a hard decision. Are we gonna tie it in the back? Or are we gonna tie it here? I tied mine on the inside, but then it's quite long. Let's do it in the back so that it's a little bit tighter. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring the other ribbon around. You want this to be nice and clean. Looks good, right? Yeah. It looks better than that one. Well, they're both nice. They're just a little bit different. And then it's a little bit tight, but I'm gonna tie it in the back. Little baby knot. You still be able to get this out. Tuck it, then I'm gonna pull it out just a bit because I want you to have a little bit of give in Movement. this. Movement, yeah. Exactly, so it's not you know cutting off your circulation. Tuck it under so you're hiding the knot. If you were going on See, stage, no. you would stitch in and then you have to cut out after so your ribbons don't flop around. Right, this is one reason, this is another reason why I'm not a ballerina. Not enough patience. This is, this is only for the professional setting. But it doesn't matter, we're just exercising. Okay. So it's really all about having fun. So today I thought we could share with everyone some kind of uh, exercise routine whereby yep. we focus on the things that I always wanted to work on. Sure. Which is bum. Always, bottom, we're always lifting. Bottom, lifting the Derriere. bottom. Derriere. Derriere, uh, tum. Yes. And sort of arms. For your audience at home, this is a workout that's inspired by ballet. Mm -hmm. It's not an actual ballet class. So that's Ballet Beautiful. This is Ballet, ballet Beautiful. Ballet Beautiful is intense burn, but elegantly. And it's under the guise of ballet, but it's essentially you're wearing beautiful outfits, but you're doing quite hard things. And you're gonna have a, you know, like a super toned ladylike physique at the end of this. Okay, great. All right, so stretching, right? Yeah. We always have to, as a dancer, you're always looking to elongate. You wanna lengthen. So if you think about, so we'll just start really easy. I mean, already it's ridiculous. Okay, yeah. so just. We're gonna stand really easily. Nice and easy. You don't have to be with flexibility. You just wanna move through it. It's gonna feel different every day. This is as far down as I can get. That's great. You don't have to be super technical. The hips don't have to be square. I really think that stretching should just feel good and it's about just lengthening the body yeah some stress o opening up the hip and the thigh this one's really nice we're doing that right you can come on your side just leaning down exactly stretch 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 good okay shall we start with abs yeah the other good thing about ballet beautiful is if you're hungover i know i talk about a lot about being hungover she it, does <laughs> the other good thing about ballet beautiful is if you're fatigued you can do a bit of exercise and then in between you can just sort of like We'll stay on the mat because that's sort of your sweet spot. Exactly. Okay. In ballet, you're always pulling your stomach in. You're always engaging your core. So it's just a given. Um, I like to start the workout with abs so that we get those muscles tight. I just them. had quite a lot of halloumi for lunch. That's, that's standard for you. Great. So we're just going to connect with your ballet muscles. <laughs> and then we're going to use them through all the other exercises. So come on down. We're going to start down here. All right. I'm really thin, but I still eat. Sorry, I just realized how annoying it was. Like, I just had so much halloumi, but I genuinely did. I believe. Okay. And you love halloumi. It's true. All right, pull the stomach in. We're gonna take the feet up. I'm trying to think about wrapping almost from like the sides of my hip, hips to my belly button, pushing everything fat, flat on the ground. And then we're gonna extend slightly, stretch one leg down. How's your back feeling? Good. Good? And pulling in here. Ooh. That looks great. It looks elegant, but it's like hell. Lift up and change. Take your arms up to first. I'm going to come over and give you some adjustments to make it harder. Okay. It went for a little more warm. Lift and change. 
and lift and change again. So can you share with us some of and your... Can go a little faster oh and God. change? Like, who are some people that walk through this and door two. that people at home might know? Well, one of my first clients was Natalie Portman, who I prepared for Black Swan. Casual. And I've worked for many years with Karen Elson. Oh, who yeah. Who you know and love. Yeah. Lily Aldridge, Dowson, Liv Tyler. Hold it here. Okay, I'm coming to you. Oh, God. It's gonna get harder. It already hurts. Stretch, lower. Oh, God. But not quite to the mat. And then this one, no cheating. Mm -mm. Oh. Okay, I want to do that. Okay. <laughs> She hasn't done exercise we have to for do a that long again. time. <laughs> okay, take a stretch, release, release the stomach, lift up, and then we're gonna do that again, but the way I wanted okay, to. Okay, Change legs, hold on. Now, this goes lower. Yeah. Not to the floor, do not put your heel down. Okay. Don't. This is in. I am. This is oh God. there. No. Hold it. Yeah. Breathe, don't grimace, do not grimace. Okay, lift and change. Good. Good, very good. Pulling okay, it. Okay, that's it. That. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you were gonna do ten of those. I've, okay. One, <laughs> two, three. Lower, lower, further. Here, now go fast, go fast. Four. Good. Five. How's it feeling? Six. Purple. Six pack abs, almost. I All honestly right, can't. I honestly can't do it. It's hard. Yeah. Okay, but you know you get results from these in like three days. <laughs> we're gonna move on. To Mary the next Helen, exercise. Do you remember what I call things that hurt a lot? I do. What is it? Lemon tuna. It's lemon tuna. It's exactly what it is. <laughs> Why? I'm not sure. Because it feels like acidy. Okay. Like the muscles feel like lemon tuna. We're going to pull the stomach in and just take the toes a little bit up. Oh, God. <laughs> huh. Good. Tiny, tiny lifts. Okay. Now we're going to. Um, tap the toes down and lift the toes up. Good. So down and up. Yep. The further away, exactly, the harder it is. So this is where sometimes I have you hold that ball. Oh, uh, yeah. In between. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. What if we put this on? How okay. do you feel about this? Yeah, sure. I don't know. Let's just experiment here. I feel like we can add more burn to this. Just Great. Separate. More burns. Mm -hmm. Perfect. How does that feel? Yeah, really cool. <laughs> I want you to tap here and lift. For eight, tap it and up, pulling in. Good. And two, how was that? Horrible. And three, where are you getting it in your Everywhere. stomach? Everywhere. Great. And four, <laughs> it's really hard. And five, you don't mind being my guinea pig on camera? I'm not do you? very big, so it hurts more or something. It's not fair. And eight, two more. Nine, ten, and then just hold the feet here. Hold them out. How was that? Hold. Pull it, pull it I'm trying. Do not. Uh, don't drop it. Uh, okay, thank you. Okay, great. Well done. What do you think of this for that? I just felt like we were filming a YouTube so you'd fake it, but uh, I didn't realize you'd actually kick my ass. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we have to maximize. It's mean. It's mean. Okay, <laughs> what's next? This is nice for the stomach in this position because it gives you a little bit of resistance. Yeah. Okay. I'll watch you do it for a bit. How about that? Off you go. Lying down. Six, <laughs> seven, eight, and ten. So you're going to pull in tight. Eight. Right? You're going to lift up. Oh, yeah, I like this one. Okay, so okay. start with the arm side and then pulling in. And up, great. And lower. Ugh. And two, great. And lower, excellent. Ugh. And three, yep. Yeah. And lower. I'm the only person that comes in here and makes and four. grunting lab sounds. And lower. Everyone else is like, how is your day? <laughs> That's perfect. How are the flowers? And six. I'm like, Ugh! I've got a whiskey hangover and a point to prove. Okay, one more. Eight. Usually I make you do at least 12 of these, so I'm going easy. Hold it back, and you're going to pulse back. And pulse. And two. And three. That's nice. And four. In low, I know. right? So you're thinking about that spot between your hip bones. <laughs> Why am I doing it? Because Looking at you. I genuinely haven't worked out for like three months, so I forgot how okay. hard it is. Oh yeah, I yeah. missed you. Okay, lay, lay down, and we're gonna do it with a twist. Lift up and twist to me, to me, and smile. Good. 
and lower and lift and change. Good. Exactly. So really suck in as you come up and up. Okay, tell lower. them about your theory of and up. ballet and face and aging. And lower. Well, because you look 12. Thank you. It's all about ballet. And you're actually 18, so that's great. Well, Okay, twisting. So my theory is all the pounding, all the stress, bad for your body. Hold it here, and we're just going to pulse back. Bad for your skin. High impact exercise, breaks down your collagen, hurts your joints, bad for the face. I know, but some people like to do cardio, and that has sure. to be high impact. Doesn't have to. We have low impact cardio. Oh, uh, swimming? No, yeah, ballet beautiful. Oh. You want to try it? I'm so hot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Lift up and change. Lift up and change. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to do a little release of the hips. Just roll forward. Up. And just... Exactly. <laughs> just, <laughs> letting, just let it all go. I don't go. know why you're laughing. I'm doing exactly what you're doing. We're just Lift a up. couple of twins with the same physicality. Just mir mirroring each other. Blue eyes, brown eyes. Exactly. I look the same as you doing that. All right, so let's move on. Would you like to use this lovely yeah, they're band? They're really nice, these bands. These are great, you can travel with them, they weigh nothing, it adds resistance. Yep. Which is essentially burn. Okay. So you know I love that. So what are we using them for now? I'm gonna do it for outer thigh. Lovely. Okay. okay. I think it's so important to take as much time as you can for yourself and for your health. Well, so I like- squeeze it in. You know, the whole thing of this was meditative in a way, like walking here, Walking up the stairs, Getting putting dressed. your outfit on. There's a ceremony attached to totally. going to some kind of exercise class, whatever that might be, which is actually just really nice for your brain. Yes. And you always feel better when you move your body. Yeah. It's one of the like small ways we can kind of control, you know, how we feel yeah. in our day. How this is this feeling? Horrific. Okay, great. So yeah. you're starting to get that burn. Starting. I'm and finishing lift it higher the up and two. So we're working. Think about pulling that stomach in tight. So yep. for me, that takes a lot more thought and effort after the three kids. Ooh. But just always trying to get that connection through the core. So this is just really targeted exercise. It's I here. Love, it's like... Exactly. Targeted, targeted toning. Stretch it long. And We're doing how's circles it feeling? right now. We are circling. I mean, as best we can. And again, trying to engage, right? So you're pulling in as tight engage as you can. Engage the halloumi. Good. Horrific. I mean, it feels so painful. I know it looks like we're doing almost nothing. It's sort of silly. <laughs> They're laughing at Yeah. Us. It's really hard, you guys. Does it look like nothing? <laughs> Does it honestly feels like hell? <laughs> it's like fine. Like, I want you to put a band on after this and just try a few of these. I swear to God, it's horrific. It's fire. I'm going to lift it higher. I'm going to come and lift you. Up. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. When you laugh, it burns uh, Good. What just are we doing? Kind of up. Oh, God. I just want, exactly, so that you're stretching the band more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so one easy stretch here. You can just come onto your back. You probably need to move this down a bit. But if you take oh, that, I love that. It, right? It's really nice. Oh. Push it away. You can do the seated at your desk chair. Yeah. That would look cool stretch. in the office. <laughs> Come on down, and then same thing. You want to pull the stomach in nice and tight. You yeah. want to push up with the hips, right? Tummy in. Do not arch your back. Just lower and lift and squeeze the butt. Squeeze under here as you come up. So up. And this two. is the one that and looks three. naughty. And four. But Very effective toning. Yeah. Good. Do you prefer not to film this? I just would love our percentage of audience of 13 year old males to go up by 90%. So like, let's do this. <laughs> okay. Kind of like a little higher. <laughs> oh my God, MH, you're gonna send them crazy. We don't have to You're do gonna it. send them crazy. <laughs> just that we'll just show them what would happen. I'm just gonna, okay. If you really want to get through the outside of the thighs and the butt, then you can do a little opening and closing, <laughs> pulling it tight. Good. Excellent. So if you can imagine that any given day, there is about 20 women up here in leotards doing this thing together. That's what's going on. And a on. handful of supermodels. And a handful of supermodels, yeah. Bring the feet together. We're just gonna 
advance into the harder stuff. Yeah. Lift one leg up, stomach in tight. You know what, bring your knees together. It's harder. It's gonna be like quite a lot harder. And down and up here. Horrific. So squeezing. Oh, down and up. So you really feel this burn in the working leg. Yep. Through the butt. So this one is so good for lifting and tightening. Yep. All of it. Oh God. I thought I could interview you while doing this, but I can't, it's actually impossible. <laughs> Lift higher. Whew. Okay. And little pulse, good. Should we change legs? Not yet. Okay, now hold it here. I'm gonna tap down and up. That's really nice. And two. <laughs> <laughs> you were right, do really nice. And my idea of pain hell is like, that's so nice. Okay, so tap That down. is really hurting. I think I've lost <laughs> circulation in my butt. I lift it up. It's really, it's, this is a this good is one. This is beautiful. Down up. <laughs> I can't. And four. And five. Just two sets of eight here. And six. Then we're going to st stretch, stand up, and we'll do our swan arms. I honestly might bomb right now. And up. <laughs> Let's stretch. If we were really going for it, I would have made you do four sets of eight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so just release. Whatever feels good. Yeah, that's nice. Good. Very pretty. Stretch the bottom leg down. Lower it, lower it, lower it to the mat. Great. Okay, change sides. Oh, la. You can move it around. Okay, shall we? Yes. Swan arms? Yep. Long through the neck, mm -hmm. like a swan. This is in your regular life, always. We just oh, really? want to have lots of length from here. Okay. Open through the chest. So I'm thinking about pulling, you never want the shoulders to kind of roll forward, which happens in modern life. Your phone, the yeah. computer, stress, driving, the train, whatever it is, right? So you just want to be open, always fighting that. Thinking about, I try to think about my shoulders like a coat hanger, mm -hmm. straight across, so everything open. Mm. Pulling in, so exactly. Like somebody's pulling in right here in between your shoulder blades. Yeah. Imagine just getting a little pinch, that looks great. And you want to engage the core, right? So for, for ballet, the hips are really, really straight, but for a normal person, it probably feels a little bit tucked mm. to be that straight. Open, down, closed. Yeah. Closing the ribs. All right, swan arms. This is one pound, okay? Mm -hmm. Wow. Whoa. One big one. Jesus. All right, we're getting really, we're getting really intense over here. But <sighs> joke about it, it makes it so much harder okay. because swan arms, we're going to be using our body's natural resistance. Bend the elbows, lift the elbows. Bend and up. These are really nice. You have to practice them this summer. These make me on smile. Holiday. I don't know why. You look so happy and beautiful. Because I feel like a battery. Yes. And it does make you look youthful and young when you're smiling and so happy like yeah. that. You look great. Okay, so down and up. I mean, it's going to take a couple of reps, but you'll be crying if we did 15 minutes of this. Okay. I don't even think we could do 15 minutes with one pound. We can probably do half of that. If this is what you're planning to do right now because it already hurts. I'm just letting you know. Good, that's great. I'm happy to hear that. Little circles here, long through the neck. Nice, right? These will never sure make is. you big. They're not going to make you bulky. It's a very toned okay. but feminine arm. Now, we can talk a little about posture. Yes, please. These are great mm -hmm. for your posture because you're in that open position. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can tell. So keep going. Do not, don't drop your arms. Don't. Do not drop your arms. Okay, don't arch. I feel a little bit shaky through my body. Do you feel that? Just from working all those muscles? I'm just boiling hot. <laughs> Everything hurts. That's all I know. Yeah. Okay, down and up. Um, yes. Generally, we, I didn't think about it, but it's usually best to take off the sweater before the arms. Mm -hmm. Because you're only going to get hotter. We don't want to like intimidate everyone with our big <laughs> muscular guns. So. Down and up. Okay, so you can practice these in the water. In the water? Yes. What water? Obviously you can't, you know, <laughs> on your holiday. On your holidays, pool. okay. The low ones especially are a great way, like I did that with Natalie when we were prepping for Black Swan, because it gives you that resistance. Oh, okay. So our swan arm exercises are like foundational ballet beautiful. Really? You can do them anywhere. You don't need 
the weights. Yeah. It's an amazing um, transformative exercise. It's super elegant. Yeah. And it's giving you tone, but also, also beautiful posture. Yeah. Good. And lift. Good. And two. And three. Beautiful. Very elegant, even though the, this is where it gets hard, right? You're tired, you don't wanna lose your form, <laughs> okay? Okay. So keep just pushing through it. Good, let's do these little circles, the low circles, and up. I'm gonna have two. to sign us out now. And three. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Mary Helen. Thank you. If you wanna see more Ballet Beautiful, she has over 300 videos, so you can search for that on here. And uh, click to subscribe, ring the bell, leave your comments, and we'll see you next time. Bye.